Hey, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So I'm trying to get the sun and get this good fresh air after the, all this good rain and stuff. And I'm trying to do this video without showing where I live. But just a quick, see that dumpster right there? Um, that dumpster was empty like a couple days ago. And a couple days ago, it was, um, it was uh, the eclipse. And apparently the eclipse happened, started happening like more in the morning. Which usually you think of an eclipse uh, full moon at night. So, um, I'm just, you know, led to be doing these videos. Like, I don't know if you want to call it shy or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, I need to build my confidence up on one thing. But, um, I just want to say that, you know, spring cleaning is not always in the spring. You know, there's other things with the planet and the stars and the moon and, you know, the different um, weather that will lead you to have spring cleaning. Um, so I just want to say that I have totally forgotten about the eclipse. And I think it was for good reason because I had some spring cleaning to do in my heart and my soul. Um, sometimes you know we can get caught up with you know normal life and things we should do and be there for our family be there for ourselves um try to maintain and you know the respect in your community and you know a person like me that's an introvert you know i think i'm an introvert i don't know <laughs> you know I've, I've always been the only child you know latchkey kid i don't know if anybody knows what latchkey is but you can look it up I don't want to get off topic, but um, I haven't always been that way. I've, I've For years, I've been trying to be around uh, other people's families to try to have family, you know. But there's nothing wrong with that. You go through your life and stuff, and, you know, people have been there for me that I appreciate. has been there in my life. But um, I just want to say... Just pay attention to what's going on right now, the mood swings and, you know, other things that's going on in your life. I'm not saying that um, what's going on, like as far as the moon phase and the other hemisphere, you know, that's going on. I can't really educate anybody on that because I'm not good at it. I'm learning myself. But just pay attention and just, you know, give yourself a break. If you have a breakdown, you know, I had a breakdown, you know, during the eclipse and I wasn't even thinking about the eclipse. And usually when I keep up with the full moon and the eclipse, then I try to I ground myself and I try to pay attention to my feelings so that it doesn't get in the way of my daily routine and the loved ones that I'm around and um, um, disrespect anyone, you know, that I care about. So... I just want to say to everybody that there's nothing wrong with checking yourself because a lot of times before we check anybody else, we have to check ourselves. And um, I'm making this video because I just had to get used to being on this camera and talking about things that I feel like God is, you know, telling me. And to let people know, there's people, you know, that still just has a, a one frame of mind, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that, but especially when you get, you know, older, like my age, you know, um, we tend to be set in our old ways, you know, and things that we've learned. But there's nothing wrong with holding on to things that we need to hold on to that um, we've grown to learn, you know, over time from childhood, you know, from birth. So I'm just saying that's to say that. Don't be so hard on yourself at this time. It's, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. You know, you have um, things going on in the planet and God's, you know, doing some spring cleaning. So we have to go along with the program. So just don't be hard on yourself because a lot of people don't really realize what's going on. And once you realize that it's something that is way beyond you, it's way beyond you, 
then you can maybe try to control and try to ground yourself. You know, by grounding yourself, it's like, you know, get in touch with your mind, body, and soul and realize that you're human and that it might not even be mistakes. You know, it might just be some cleansing of your soul and your mind and your body. You know, a lot of times we try to hold ourselves together and, you know, we're human. You know, we have to realize we're human and we're going to make mistakes and we're going to do things that aren't mistakes that we think are mistakes. Sometimes we just need to just um, ground ourselves by being to ourselves and not pose, imposing on other people that there's just an attitude that we have when we're really just trying to deal with ourselves, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you're not able to do that, then, I mean, you know, even if it's nothing but, you know, when you're on the toilet pooping, you know, you have those few minutes to yourself and just close your eyes and just, you know, thank God, you know, for being with you. There's a lot of people who's not here anymore. And, you know, sometimes I feel like not being here, but I don't want to disappoint God. You know, you only get one one time in this life, you know, to get it right until God brings you back in another life if you believe in that or if not I don't know I, I really don't try to be into that preaching under that stuff because I think it's an individual thing uh, that we all have to uh, be in touch with on our own lives but um, this my YouTube channel is just not for BS and I know I have shorts that sometimes may not make no sense or whatever. It doesn't matter to me because I'm doing something that um, I feel that I need to do. And um, I get nervous a lot of times. But, I mean, there's a lot of entertainers that get nervous just before they get ready to do what they got to do. So, um, I'm just getting on here to reassure, especially I can speak for women my age. You know, we already, you know go through different things in life that nobody's going to understand until they get our age and we can't say uh, I told you so because it's, that's not what it's about so especially women you know older women that have grandkids and adult kids and you know um, that are uh, widows or you know lost a significant other any of those things, you know, single, you know, um, just to reassure you that everything's going to be okay. At this time, what's going on, take a breather, take a moment, realize that the world doesn't evolve around us. Sometimes we have to evolve around the world and pay attention and see what's going on so that we can roll with the punches and tally with the high. If you don't know what that means, ask somebody, you know, that do know what it means. Act around, they'll tell you. So I don't know how to explain everything, but I just want to say that um, I'm going to be trying to uh, make more videos. And I always say that, but it'd be so hard for me sometimes because I don't want to get on here and say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing. Then I'll be trying to make sure, you know, I'm presentable to be on camera and all that and um, I be in my head a lot. You know, I'm born at the time of the year where we just be up in our head, but we keep things in and we don't talk about a lot, but we know a lot. So really this video is just to let anybody know that feels the way I've been feeling for these last few days. And I mean, I was in a good mood. I was in a good mood. And then I just woke up the day of the eclipse and I just was feeling, I mean, I just just like a cloud was just over my head and I like I couldn't breathe and I couldn't think and and I just feel stressed and but I wanted to do what I'm supposed to do you know I'm supposed to be there and I'm supposed to be a role model a mentor and you know um, a child of God and not just think everything is about me so um, I think that that <laughs> proved me to be wrong uh, the day of the eclipse because I just totally just I just couldn't believe how I was feeling you know this feeling of, of unknowing how I was feeling and where it was coming from and I had to get it out and 
And then I had, after I did all that, I had to, to, you know, realize that, you know, I had to check myself and ground myself. And then when I realized later on that day that it was Eclipse Day, I'm like, oh, you know, I usually keep up with kind of, with this kind of stuff. But everything is not for us to know. Everything's not for us to know because we really need to, to, to go through emotions. You know, we need to let those emotions out. You know, just try not to make it to where you're going to regret it later on. And if you do regret it, you know, just ask God to forgive you. I always say this, we forgive you for your sins that you do that you know that you do and your sins that you know not you do so y'all excuse my lips this is just one reason why i don't be getting on camera because i'm trying to be presentable and stuff but i had to do this because i haven't been making any videos and i know that i'm not supposed to be a motivational speaker but i'm going to be like a, a motivational speaker to where um just to to let somebody know on that day like how i was feeling and i'm still am you know that was a couple of days ago and i'm still trying to deal with that feeling you know so and and i'm telling you people just want to believe in one thing you know they want to believe in religion or whatever but you gotta you gotta we are so blessed to have this social media to learn i'm telling you because i wish i would have knew years ago what i know now from learning on social media and um but i've, I've came to the conclusion that you know God doesn't want us to know everything all the time. We have to go through our lessons in life, you know, to be able to um, know a little more on how to deal with what what I do know now, you know. So I just want to tell everybody, just be strong. Get through this. It's just a storm. It's just a storm. Get through it. You know, a lot of people don't make it through just on their everyday lives you know and i just really thank god for um living this long because long there's been a lot of times when i didn't even want to you know live anymore be here anymore and i have to keep reminding myself that i'm a child of god you know and i'm not in control of my life and if i was to commit suicide and god allows for me to die because you can try to commit suicide and and, and don't die he gonna leave you here then you got to deal with god and he's gonna be very disappointed in you then you have a no, another whole struggle to go through so i just want to say you know keep the faith whether you're religious or not me myself i choose to be spiritual because i want to keep an open mind i want to keep an open mind on what god is lessons that god is trying to teach me um i want to keep an open mind on myself and uh, instead of blaming others or being upset with others, I want to uh, be in, be mindful of myself and my actions and the things that I'm doing wrong and I'm not doing right. So this is just something to lift somebody's head up. Maybe somebody needs to hear this. Um, don't give up, you know, in, in the faith that there is a God because there is a God, you know. I, there's no way, you know, some people they're atheists they don't believe there's a god that's that's them i don't judge i'm not judging that because some people you know they'll come around or they won't so i just want to say that have a blessed day be strong don't give up ain't nothing to it but to do it god bless peace